What's up guys, Tanner with another video. Hope you're all having a great day. Right now I'm in Miami. I was gonna film out there by the water, but it's a little bit windy and I don't have a windscreen so it'll be hard to hear. So that's why I'm here in the car and I'm not in the Mozzie. I'm in a different car. I am with my boy Yanni. How's it going guys? So he's a friend of mine and we actually met through Instagram DMs and through my food page. So he's a cool guy. He does a lot of stuff, both with social media marketing, business stuff, sales. So I'm gonna let him give sort of a background on himself and then we're gonna talk about Instagram. How's it going guys? My name is Yanni, I'm from Miami. I'm half Greek and half Cuban. I uh, started in the pharmaceutical industry about five years ago and having a lot of time in between offices and meetings, I, I didn't wanna waste time because I'm, I'm very entrepreneurial like that. So this is when Instagram was just getting popular. So I decided to make use of my time and I'd start doing something in between meetings. So I started an account. I wanted to do something that I really liked. So I like food and I like going out. So I started an Instagram page on food. Um, it took about six months to get to 10,000 followers, but I kept going. I kept, kept hustling, kept grinding. The next year it went up to 500,000 and then Fast forward a year later, I'm at 2.5 million followers. Mm, that's crazy. So a lot of work, guys, but just utilize your time. Utilize the free time that you have and uh, and take take every opportunity to, to um, propel yourself. So now he has that big food account that he's been working on, but he's also still working on his pharmaceutical sales stuff. But tell them, like, you have a lot of followers, and most people think that influencers, they just sell shout-outs and stuff like that. But yep. no, he does not sell shout-outs, but he does get something big in return off of that. So he lives here in Miami. So, like, what do you get out of having that big food account? Okay, so I don't do the typical um, shout-outs that people do with off-niche stuff. I do, what I do is I take advantage of the perks. So there's a lot of high-end restaurants in Miami. I get invited to a lot of these events. I can attend, I can invite someone, and you can order basically whatever you want on the menu in exchange for a post. So with my value of my followers, if I'm going to a high-end restaurant, you can easily, two people with drinks and everything, get a $500 meal. So you know what, that's, that's worth my time for a post, and that's money that I'm saving, I'm enjoying, and I'm not spending the money. So very valuable for me. Um, also, another way I do make money is by restaurants and food brands. Since on my page, I don't like to do ads where people know it's an ad. Restaurants will tell me to go in, film a video of a dish that, that will generate buzz, and then post it on my page. I'll tag where the location is, geotag. They get followers looking at the restaurant. People go there, they make money. And that's how I make money as well. So I monetize by doing ads that are really you can't really tell their ads, but they are ads because it's showing the people where the location is. So they love it because you're telling them where to go to get the food, but it's not looking like you're pushing them. So that's the that's the way to win-win. Yeah, so you're getting benefits and you're also engaged. keeping an engaged audience because it's not like you're just like force promoting these ads. You're exactly. essentially promoting something that they want, they may want, but it's they're, not they're, like... Yeah, yeah. they're, following, they're yeah. following me because they want to see cool food and where to get it. Yep. So by me showing them, it's showing, I mean... It brings I'm, some sort of value to them. So exactly. that's what audiences like when they get more engaged if you're also providing some kind of value through them. And that's sort of what happened with how I met him through Instagram DMs because networking through Instagram, if you just DM someone you want to meet, someone maybe is famous, not famous, just someone you want to meet that you wouldn't usually expect an answer from. You're just like, hey, what's up? They're not going to answer. But most of the time, you have to provide some kind of value, offer them something. So for him, I had my big food page. He had his, but he had a lot more followers than me. He still does because I stopped growing it. <laughs> but anyways, we had this engagement group. I know a lot of you guys know what engagement groups but about a year ago when I had started Nam Rama you guys know that and then we had a group with a bunch of food accounts where we would like and comment on each other's posts and you know it really wasn't like a personal connection thing it was just you know engagement with accounts and then you know eventually we'll talk here and there but it ended up I got to know Yanni somewhat decent over the past year yep. and then now I'm here in Miami I got the Mozzie, he got his Mercedes, <laughs> and we're just chilling because I come down here and last night, like he was saying about the meals with his account, we went out to eat at this restaurant in exchange for a post. So I did some story posts on my page, he did a little bit on his page, and you know, we got a free meal off of that. So it's nice, we're out there having a nice dinner in Miami, we don't have to worry about spending a bunch of money. Yep. All we're doing is, we're sort of showing our audiences like Showcasing. the restaurants. Yep. Yeah, we're showing them what the food is, what's available out here. We're not like, hey, come buy this food, come to this restaurant, we're just mm -hmm. showcasing it. And then the audience may like it, they might go there. So that is what the whole point of it for the restaurants is of comping us the meals. And it's not like it's just strictly business while we're doing this. I mean, I don't do it, he does it. I just did it because I'm down here with him and he knows all the good spots, everything to do. So another important thing that I've, I've learned 
from big accounts is people will DM me just random like, oh, I love that dish. More than half people that have big accounts don't respond to their followers. But I take the time, I can't respond to every single one, but I'll respond to whenever I have free time, I'm going in the DMs and I'll respond to them. A lot of times they're like, oh my God, you responded. Oh my God, thank you for, so basically, uh, the followers really appreciate that because they see it's a person behind the account and it really relates them Plus yep. that makes them follow you even more closely and even tell their friends because they're like look, you know what? Uh, this account uh, wrote back to me. And they told me they they like my comment. They acknowledge that I existed So it's, it's so that's then, a huge thing like that also creates a more engaged audience Like as you see like personal accounts personal accounts They gain more engagement than themed accounts because like there's a face to it mm -hmm. People know who's behind it and if you create a themed account like yours and you've built this sort of very creative brand that a lot of theme pages don't do where you know you are the face behind it but people don't really know the face Correct. it's sort of a hidden thing but it still creates an active and, and they engaged hear, audience they hear yeah. someone talking behind the stories yep. so it puts it puts a life uh, a personal yep. touch to it it's a personal touch yep. and not just strictly posting food he also films his own videos which adds more yep. of a touch like i'm really not focused on my food page right now but when i was i never really made my own posts i made maybe a couple but he's in a good spot he's here in miami there's tons of great restaurants a lot of opportunities down here for him he gets to experience and explore all the things down here in miami and he has all these opportunities so that's sort of how we've connected through Instagram and how, you know, I'm down here now. We've met up. Time to get some sushi. <laughs> yeah, time to get some sushi. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys go follow him on Instagram. I'll tag it right there. So, hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace. Peace out, guys.